I might have to put hands on my three-year-old. That boy yelling back, thinking he running things. Might have to put hands on him, so pray for me today. Uh, good morning, another day, another A. This is the Dakota OMC, a.k.a. Joseph Anthony Norman. And I'm vlogging again today. Uh, hopefully y'all checked out that last vlog. Uh, it just premiered at 8 o'clock this morning, so check that out, man. Support the channel so I, so I have the motivation and the encouragement to keep doing this because, uh, you know, who knows how many days in a row I'm going to be doing this. So I got another dresser to uh, put together. Hopefully my wife helps me again because she was a big help yesterday. And uh, I'm going to stream it. Not stream it, but I'm going to time lapse it. And hopefully nobody messes with it today. Alright. Anyway, uh babe, I didn't already told a vlog I might have to throw hands on, on baby Fofo. If he keeps I'm gonna throw hands on him. I don't care no more. I, I was whooping him with my hand. Yeah. Got the but spoon it, thing and he's still yelling in my face. No! 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 I know he's like, relentless, babe. Dude. He's just like you. Nah, alright. He's just like you. But he's in three-year-old form in a, in a man. <laughs> please. You know who Rose said acted like that? You. She said that's exactly how you were, even at six years old. When you didn't get your way. So, boy, please. <clears throat> I have witnesses that that's you, not me. Babe, actually, like, you don't ever, like, if you, if you played Mercy, the Mercy game, you would never say mercy. You would rather break your arm. Like you, you would rather not, like. Hey. You would rather get your arm broke and be out for two First two all, years than to tap out I and just say like you that lost. Towards my parents, though. Like no, I didn't act like that towards my, especially at that age. Like come on. Well, anyway. That's why he's getting staying time after thirty minutes, an hour, whatever. And I'm gonna carry that spoon around. But do what you have to do, babe. Like, but I don't think the I don't like I don't think the violence is is helping because he 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 don't respond well to it. I mean, it's not like he cries and you know runs away from the no, pain. No, I feel like I'm gonna leave like, bruises on him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gonna have to hit him harder and harder and I, harder. And he still doesn't care. I know. That's what I'm saying. He's just like you, babe. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get this this here dresser on the road. And uh, we'll catch y'all here in a bit. Telling my boys while I'm doing this uh this here uh building of the dresser. The changing table. The, it's, it's the changing table and it's the changing of the guard. Do you understand this? So if y'all want some fresh gear, fresh clothes, new video games, and all of that kind of stuff, y'all gonna have to start your own biz business and get your own money because all of our resources is going into high L. Well, okay. We gonna, we gonna, she's gonna have the most clothes. We gonna show her the most love. We gonna love her the most. And y'all gonna be kicked to the side. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all not gonna be kicked to the side, but I'm just telling you, things is gonna change. You got that, Fofa? Mm -hmm. Huh? She's not gonna have the most clothes. Yes, she is. is. I already have more clothes than everyone what can I'm find in this family. I know what I'm saying is, you might not ever get no more new clothes from us. Whoa, what are you doing? Bruh. Bruh, we don't need your help. I don't need you losing nothing. Oh, yeah, you're losing nothing. Oh, okay. Let me see that knife right there. It's sharp. Can it cut wood? Man, it could cut anything. Anyway, so I'll just let my boys know that it's a change into the guard. And, uh... There's a baby girl coming into this world, and she's gonna be the sweetest, most adorable, 
in mommy's belly and she's gonna be the sweetest most adorable baby ever created and she's gonna easy. rule the world even these two right here she's, she's not gonna rule me actually she is no, she's not. so just uh that's that's what's coming up so i'm gonna get back to this project so now we on this uh whole can um do you allow your children to say nigga that's that's the tip i know my parents didn't allow me to say nigga but i said it all the time not only did i say it i listened to rap music that said it i listened to comedy specials that said it i listened to movies that said it i listened to friends colleagues and uh, i wouldn't say colleagues back in the day but i listened to everybody that said it and so I just want to get y'all opinion on it. I know my daddy didn't like it. And I know my wife don't like it. Correct. It's a bad word. She say, she say it's a bad word. It is. And I say it's a term of endearment. So semantics, everybody. Semantics. Depending on what context you use it in, it can be a, a bad word. But most, most of the time, when somebody that is non-black saying it, it's using a negative connotation. About 95% of the time. Some people are just repeating lyrics from songs and they just want to groove out to it. But those same people wouldn't say those same lyrics in certain settings. So, yeah. Man. The what? Your hair and the mustache. Get, so now somebody's trying to tell me who to be, how to be. I, 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 like naturally. This, this is how my hair grows naturally out of my head. And I haven't been able to. So, and then they trying to talk about my mustache. Okay. And this right here, this mustache. I went straight from my quarantine beard to this mustache. And I was kind of digging it. It kind of gives me a, like a 1920s vibe and stuff like that. But they're trying to associate this mustache with Adolf Hitler. I associate it with Charlie Chapman. And it's just the style of the 20s. If you look up the Roaring 20s in Harlem, a lot of a lot of black men have these type of mustaches. So this is the thing. This is the thing about people tell how to, like especially in today's era, like if you if if the biggest uh, like if the biggest thing that you got against me right now is the way I wear my hair. Or the way I wear my beard or my mustache. If that's all you got to say out of all of the okay. stuff that's going on in the world right now. All the uh, chaos and anxiety going on in the world right now. And my mustache and my hair is your biggest issue. Then you're part of the problem. So I just got the dresser completed. Watching my Evident Faith Clinic. Getting my faith injection on this uh, Good Friday. And so take a look at that, man. That's uh. It's our change. It's our changing table. Anyway, so on to the next project. So I just called the homeowner back. Then that we were way far apart. Um, he was at 155. I was at 115. And I just told him I'm not going to make no offer, man. I, I don't want to offend him, you know. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to, you know, him to get angry at me or anything like that. So I told him I wouldn't make an offer. And he just demanded and demanded and demanded that I tell him what my offer was. I guess just so he can be, <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I told him, I said, hey, 115. He said, oh, hell, you trying to get rich off of me. I'm like, no, nah, man, this is just a lot of risk right now. Especially what's coming down the pipeline with the new appraisals and people lowering the sales price of their houses, like, you know, $40,000 could dwindle down to 20, 25 in a heartbeat. And that's not risk that my investors are willing to take. So man, 115 was, a, was a pretty strong offer. If he gets a better one and somebody wants to do all the work themselves, break their back and paint, do all that kind of stuff. And then 
stumble their way into a cell, then shoot, God bless them, man. Uh, but uh, for right now, like me and my business model, it didn't fit at 155. So it's a better fit at 115 since I couldn't do that. Um, I told him and uh, I told him I'll still, you know, look after the house because we are next door neighbors. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to hear if he does sell the house and things move on, you know, keep me updated. But uh, as for right now, that's the progress on that. So we got to find another house to flip. So uh, I'm going to be doing some research and trying to find another house so I can get this cash, this check, this money. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, uh, you know, move some things around. And uh, I'm not in the oil and gas business anymore, so I got to do something. And I know one thing I'm going to do is sell CBD hemp, CBD oil, and CBD flour. And that'll be available next week. And I'm also going to be doing real estate, wholesaling real estate. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to go look at another 100 houses. I'll probably find a couple of deals in, in that. And we're just going to keep this thing moving. So, anyway, just giving y'all an update on a little vloggy vlog. Peace out. So, after cutting the yard and uh, taking a shower, going to run a couple of errands, babe. Where are we going? Dillard's. Dillard's CPA. pickup in the CPA. Got to go pay the man. You got to always have a good team. You know, no matter what business you're in, you got to have a good team, man. And uh, just make sure that they handle the business properly and... You know, we, we exchange that with monetary benefits. So, anyway, we're going to uh, go run by the CPA, then run a couple of errands, and <clears throat> probably put together a little montage for you, and do all of that nice little... Look, I've been really into R&B, so I'm probably going to do an R&B montage. So, y'all hang right in there. Actually, I didn't get no footage as we <laughs> ran our errands, but uh, anyway. I am gonna get some footage of this fish fry. So, no, I don't. So I got this fish fry right here. Got the oil coming. Got my fish. Y'all, if y'all follow the vlogs, y'all already know where this came from. Had a whole vlog about it. What you ewing about? It's fish! What's wrong with the yeah, fish? Ew, okay. <laughs> Open that window, babe. Anyway, so uh, I'm about to start start this fish fry and uh, I'm going to set up a little. I guess I'll be able to show it. But anyway, let's, let's see what I get to pull off. Actually, I didn't get no footage as we. <laughs> Ran out errands, but uh, anyway, I am gonna get some footage of this fish fry. So, no, I don't. So, I got this fish fry right here. Got the oil coming. Got my fish. Y'all, if y'all follow the vlogs, y'all already know where this came from. Had a whole vlog about it. What you ewing about? It's fish! What's wrong with the yeah, fish? Ew, okay. <laughs> Open that window, babe. Anyway, so uh, I'm about to start start this fish fry and uh, I'm going to set up a little, I guess I'll be able to show it, but anyway, let's, let's see what I do. <laughs> so I think that's ready. It's starting to burn a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and get my fresh batter. Right here. Start a little process like this. Right here. I'm gonna start with the blaze first. I'm gonna start off slow. You know what I'm saying? Start off slow. cornmeal recipe from my brother and 
wants to help out he just washed his hands all right baby let's grab one of these pieces of fish okay and then put it in there and then hold on let me let me get you up here and then you're gonna grab it and flip it over and then put all a bunch of uh um, no 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 put a bunch of stuff on it there you go Anyway, we got it done. You helped out. Thank you so much, sir. thing in there like that you know what I'm saying come back over here and say what you just said man. Yeah. You talking about fire too? Okay. Go ahead and give your steel. So baby's smashing over here. You want to play? Yeah. I mean, I came over here. And here's my plate. Looking really delicious uh -huh. right now. There you go. Can't wait choo, to choo, eat. Choo, choo, choo. So I'm gonna get some B-roll real fast. So, finishing off the day, some good old striper, real tartar sauce, babe. How'd you make this tartar? Tar 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 yeah, homemade tartar sauce. Homemade tartar sauce. Let me see what this is talking about. Mmm. Okay. Everything tastes fresh. Mmm. Tastes real fresh, man. Mm -hmm. If you want some striper and you want to catch it, and you you are you a catch and cook type of guy, you need to go to Crystal Water Seafood in Imperial, Texas. Follow them on Facebook. It's Crystal Waters Seafood Inc. Okay, and uh, you can catch and cook, man. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead. And enjoy 
the rest of this. My, my wife still th don't think I, I cut a fillet, but I cut fillet. Out of 50 fillets, I found one little cut that I missed, but it's all good. So, anyway, why you look at me like that, man? You found a anyway, I love y'all. Okay. I'll see y'all next time. We wrapping this thing up. Peace. Subscribe. Yeah, do all of that, Maxwell. You know, subscribe. Subscribe. I don't, I don't, I don't be telling people nothing. If they like the content, then let them. I mean, then they know what to do. Subscribe. Hit that like button. And let's try to get this video up to 10,000 likes. And we'll do another fillet video with cooking with Cuddle MC. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Click notifications. You'll hear a D when everyone uploads, and you'll get notified. Peace. Peace.